Hi, I'm here to tell you that you must protect what goes inside your mind. You see, if our minds are creating our reality, if what we think about is creating our reality, then what we think about is directly influenced about what we put in our mind. You see, so many of us put junk in our mind, which, all right, you put junk in your mind, that's fine. But a lot of us are putting in scary stuff. A lot of us are doing things and watching things and seeing things and absorbing things that really shouldn't be in our mind at all. You see, if you can control someone's mind, you can control what they manifest in their life. This is why when you watch the news, it's like 90% negative. This is why when you watch anything that has one narrative, you are literally being programmed to manifest what someone else wants you to manifest. This is why it's so easy to control the masses because they know that if they can control your mind, they can make you manifest what they want. Now they cannot manifest for you, but they can insert things into your mind that makes it so you manifest for them. So you must control what goes into your mind. So how do we control what goes into our mind? It's very obvious. You must limit the exposure of things that you do not want going into your mind. You must stop watching the news. Don't watch the news anymore. Just don't. There's no point in watching the news if it's all negative. Now trust me, if there's, an, if there's a major event going on that needs your attention, you will hear about it. You do not need to flip on the news in order to hear about it. If there is something that is going to affect you personally, you will hear about it. 99% of the rest of the stuff is all junk and it's all going to create your reality, a reality that you do not want. Start filling your mind with stuff that you enjoy. Start listening to funny comedies. Start watching your passions or even better yet doing your passions. And use less time scrolling on social media endlessly, looking at other people live their lives and creating this wacky energy for yourself we must limit what we are putting into our mind guys we must limit it because what we put into our mind is directly manifesting into our lives so if we don't take any control over it we are going to end up bringing into our lives stuff that we do not want and over and over and over again you see this to be true your life is meant to be lived by you your life is meant to be controlled by you. Your thoughts are meant to be controlled by you. Your manifestations are your own. Don't let anyone say or don't let anyone make you believe that things are happening to you out of your control. They're happening to you in your control. And when people put into your mind beliefs that make you doubt yourself, they are are controlling your life no one can manifest anything in your life but you no one but that's good that means that you have the power to change anything in your life and my recommendation is to turn off the news limit your social media and only watch things that make you feel happy and that bring you joy and if you can, listen to affirmations at night. Because in the middle of the night, even if you had the most negative absorbing day, you still have six to eight hours to program yourself out of those negative influences on your life through affirmations. Watch what goes into your mind, guys. It's very, very important.